Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be demonstrating how you can upload the ProSoft configuration to your ProSoft configuration module itself. Uh, I'm going to open up the uh, ProSoft configuration builder on the left hand side here. So this is my configuration. I've, re I've already made these changes. The card that we're using is MVI uh, 56E MNET card. Uh, and this card is mounted on the Control Logics. Uh, on control logics rack on uh, slot number 11 here so uh, just for clarity I'm going to open uh, RS uh, logics uh, designer on the right hand side and what I'm doing is I'm monitoring the uh, the tags uh, that's associated with the uh, ProSoft and see what how it reacts as I go through and download those changes so anyway here we go so uh, before you start doing uh, downloading uh, to your module you have to select the uh, card itself at the top here once you select this card this two red arrow will be turned on the down arrow is what you have to click to download it to the module or to the ProSoft card itself another way to do it is right click on the card itself here and click on download from PC to device which is your ProSoft device itself so I'm going to click this guy here so uh, if you don't have this thing filled up, it's the first time downloading, uh, make sure you select the right card that you'll be communicating through. Uh, I've got EN, uh, ENBT card there. So I've selected that. And if this is your CIP connect is blank, you can actually uh, uh, add those uh, using the RSU. So once uh, you click on RSU, it will show you all, all your PLC that's uh, hooked up uh, to the uh, RSU. Uh, sorry to your uh, Allen Bradley network so mine is in uh, slot 11 like I say my M MVI 56e dash M net cards on slot 11 you click on it and you click OK and once you click OK it will give you that the first section is your obviously is your IP address of the Allen Bradley PLC uh, that's one thing you have to be clear um, the second section it tells you is uh, P1 I believe this is processor one. If I'm wrong, please uh, leave a comment on the comment section below. And S11 is your slot number, which is on slot 11. And dollar fifty-six, I believe, is the MVI uh, fifty-six, uh, the model number itself. Right. So once that is done, and you have selected your connection type, you can click on test connection, and you should get a successful connected, successfully connected text uh, pop-up window here. Click OK. So now you're ready to download uh, this ProSoft configuration to the to the uh, ProSoft card itself. Just take a note here. As you can see that the uh, numbers are changing here, which means this is live. So as I click on download, this will go to zero and it will come back on again. So hit download, sending configuration. Download complete. So they got to do a bit of module running we're waiting for module running status rebooting module so while you're rebooting module you can see that all the numbers goes to zero so once the module is running after a couple of seconds she comes back on again so if this is going to be a concern for you uh, make sure that uh, you have a proper outage before you do anything to the ProSoft card itself and click OK to close the window so that's how you do a download to your ProSoft card using your ProSoft Configuration Builder. I hope this uh, quick little tip will help you. Uh, other than that, have a good day. Bye.